In this example, we're going to look at a T's math word problem involving percentages, and we want to find the sales tax rate. Very often on receipts, you will see a line that shows the tax. In this case, it's $1.62. And sometimes on these receipts, you will see the percentage right beside that tax. But sometimes you don't, like right here. So we want to find this sales tax rate. Basically, what percent sales tax are we going to pay? And I'm going to show you a couple of fast ways. The first way I'm going to show you, we don't even need these answer choices. A way that you can always find the tax rate is to take the sales tax that you're going to pay and divide it by the subtotal. Do not divide it by this grand total here. So again, let's take that sales tax we're going to pay, $1.62. Divide that by the subtotal, which is $24.98. And what we're going to get here is the decimal representation. Now, I know it says to round to the nearest tenth, but we need the nearest tenth of a percent. This is the decimal representation. Move your decimal two places to the right, which is the same thing as multiplying by 100. And now we have our percentage, which means we can now round to the nearest tenth of a percent. This is our percent. The four is in the tenths place, and this four will go up to a five because the eight tells it to go up. So our sales tax rate is 6.5%. So that is a way that we could have done it without even using our multiple choice answers. Another way that we can do this is we can take our subtotal and we can multiply by all of these answer choices to see which one gets us the closest to $1.62. And I say the closest because pretty much all of these are going to give us a long decimal. But the way cash registers work, it's always going to print out these values to two decimal places because that's how we handle money. So what was this other way I said again? Let's take our subtotal, $24.98. Let's multiply it. And let's assume you're going through these choices. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in that correct answer here, 6.5%. So I'm going to multiply by 6.5%. This is the sales tax. Now, I've never seen a cash register spit out this number here. Cash registers always round to two decimal places. So $1.62 because the two stays the same. Since this three is right after it, we do not bump it up. That's where the $1.62 is coming from. Now, this is just one example of dealing with sales tax. This case here, finding the sales tax rate. And again, I showed you two ways here. You can take the tax that you're going to pay, divide by your subtotal. Just make sure you convert it to a percent. And then the other way is you can take your subtotal and you can multiply it by your answer choices to see which one gets you the closest to this sales tax here.